Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Malen Havefjell and today I'm out in uh, the forest together with my dogs and I have been thinking about how can I explain more about what kind of bookkeeping software I recommend you to use. One of my highest uh, videos, the one that most people look at, are the one where I talk about what kind of bookkeeping software I will recommend, and that's in Swedish. So I also want to do one in English. And beside that one where I only more or less like try to explain how to think when you choose a bookkeeping software, in that video I didn't want to say any names and recommend one or uh, one of them but uh, i have learned that uh, a lot of you wants to want to have one a recommendation just tell me which one to use uh, i have two other videos one in english and one in swedish where i talk about the cheapest way of doing bookkeeping in in the english version i only talk about what i would say is the most cheapest way of doing the bookkeeping here in sweden and if you want to look a little deeper into that one i have also a video in swedish where i also talk about free version of softwares that exists on the market and which one i would recommend to which kind of company so in this video i would talk about mainly three different softwares that i recommend to people who wants to make a living out of their business I actually wouldn't recommend the free version softwares to people who want to have their uh, company as a living because they, in those you can't make your own individual adjustments as easy as you can do in the ones I will talk about today. And the ones I will talk about is, we have Fortnox, Visma and Bokeo. That is the what I would say the biggest softwares in Sweden to use. There are more softwares that you can pay for and where you get more or less the similar um, yeah, settings. I know which one I li like to use and that's the one I use. And if you are a client of mine where I actually do the accounting for you as well, then you will have your bookkeeping in that one. But with that said, I know that that is my opinion. I still believe that if you will do your own bookkeeping, take, choose the software that talks to you, that is intuitive for you, the bookkeeping that fulfills your needs. So the first thing I want you to do before you even start thinking about what kind of software to use, I would start write down a list of the things that is needed for you to keep track of the finances in your company and also perhaps a little bit like okay in the long term what are my goals what are my aims for my company where will, would i want to be in the near future or in five years ten years with my company uh, i would say and and i also should say i am not sponsored by any of these uh, software uh, programs and uh, this is purely my own opinions about them uh, if we start with the one I say, I think a lot of people start with this software, but as an accountant and as a person who helps people to do their own bookkeeping, I get a lot of clients who comes from this software where I see a lot of mistakes. It, it's maybe not because of the software, but it's because of how it's built and how they're, they're advertising their uh, software, I would say, uh, and I'm talking about Bookio. They make it sound like the b software will do anything, everything for you. You don't need to do anything. And uh, they have a lot of templates. And if you know how to do the bookkeeping, and if you know what you're supposed to get out of the bookkeeping, of course, Bookio fulfills all that needs. Uh, but I see a lot of people choosing between these templates and eventually end up using the wrong template and then it's messy to get this bookkeeping in order again uh, because of all the automations, templates, everything that's built in in Bookio. But if you have good knowledge in bookkeeping, Bookio is, yeah, that's, that's a good uh, software for you. Uh, I 
would actually recommend you if you want to have an individualized bookkeeping and if you want to learn uh, want to build a bookkeeping that is for you I would choose between Fort Knox or Visma and those two are well more or less exact the same kind of software it's how they how you find the information in these kind of softwares that is different um, I for example I work with Fort Knox because Fort Knox talks to me more intuitive I can understand how it's uh, <laughs> built and I, I get uh, the different paths. It's easy for me to see how I should move further. Uh, Visma is for for those who have more, uh, perhaps more want more structure, more like a tree environment where you sort uh, things up uh, uh, a little bit. Um, and also, it's no, it, you notice that Visma is built for people who has been working with accounting for many years. Visma was maybe not for the company owners to use this bookkeeping software in the beginning. It was for accounting people. So maybe it's a little bit hard to get into that system in the beginning, but you will get a lot of good things out of it. They have some kinds that I perhaps think is a little bit better than, than in Fort Knox, for example, you can choose the VAT box sections when you actually do the voucher, then you can just add, add that right away. Uh, in Fort Knox, you need to go to the correct account and add the information and um, like do the settings yourself, and then they are like that. Um, I see pros and cons with this one. If you are familiarized and you know what you're doing I think Visma that is good that you can make these adjustments when you actually book one thing because then you can have all the similar kind of like for example uh, IT services that you have bought in Sweden and that you have bought outside European Union and inside European Union you can uh, categorize them in the same account that you can do in Visma you can't do that in Fort Knox because you need to handle those uh, purchases a little differently according to the VAT. So that can be good in Visma, but it can also be like bad because yeah, you need to know what you're doing when you mix with those settings in with the VAT return. In a Fort Knox, it's easier. You can make your template. You can just tell, say that, okay, for this one, I will always use this when I buy a service from another European Union country and make the reverse charge and, and then I only use that one. So I think my suggestion is that if you're not that uh, eager to learn all the different rules, I think it's more, it's easier to make adjustments in Fort Knox for you and individualize Fort Knox, the book software for you there. That is the reason I prefer to work with, uh, work with Fort Knox because I can make that my own. I can make that my, the bookkeeping as I want it to be. I can make sure I get the reports, my financial reports and the information I think is interesting for me to get out. For me, it's easier to make that, those adjustments in, when I use Fort Knox. I think it's a little bit harder to do that in Visma, but yeah. I would say they are re very similar. Uh, so what would I recommend? To which company would I recommend which uh, software? Well, of course, I will always recommend a Swedish bookkeeping software if you're running a company in Sweden, because then you will get a lot of good help with downloading files that you later can upload to the tax agency, and you will have a lot of things uh, pre- <laughs> programmed that is connected to the Swedish rules. Uh, I have clients who comes from other countries that use uh, other kind of softwares that they have been using in other countries. Uh, but those are not like for the Swedish bookkeeping acts and the income tax act. And yeah, so I say go with a Swedish bookkeeping software if you want to use one. And if you're going with Bookio, take a class learn which, what kind of templates you should use. And uh, so you learn how to use it in the beginning because it's much harder when you have been doing your bookkeeping for a while to sort everything out. And unfortunately, 
I get a lot of those clients who come from Bookio with a messy bookkeeping. But Bookio is good if you know what you're doing. Uh, Fort Knox and Visma, well, I prefer Fort Knox because I think it's easier. It talks, talks to me, it talks my language, but Visma is very similar. So depending on who you are, what kind of colors do you like when you open up your software, I suggest go with that one. Uh, and if you want to, you can contact me, we can have a book a meeting and I have like a school license to both of these uh, softwares so you can try them out in my school uh, example company if you want to just test it out and see okay which software is best for me contact me if you want to dig e even deeper or if you want to have some kind of okay but this is my kind of company what do you suggest that I should use what kind of software so yeah if you want to learn even more or if you feel that like, ah but I, I just do this uh, company a little bit uh, on, on the side well look at my other two videos where I talk about the cheapest kind of bookkeeping where you only need to like get the basic basic information that you need to save for your uh, for your bookkeeping and your financial reports and all that kind of things that you need to have according to the law uh, and you can also watch my Swedish version of the where I talk about the free versions uh, of softwares. The reason I haven't done that in English is because I think if you're English speaking, go with a software where you can translate because, uh, actually I don't know, I, I think Visma also can translate to English, but Fort Knox and Bukio, they have versions in English as well. So I guess that can be a little bit easier for you uh, if you feel unfamiliar with the Swedish language and I know this is also a language where we talk about bookkeeping and maybe that's not the common word you use every day. So that is my recommendations. I recommend you to choose between Fort Knox, Visma or Bookio. And if you want my top three, then I would have Fort Knox, Visma. And actually, if you want to, I, I would pop in here a little uh, one from beside and that is one that I tested that is free of charge so if you are running a sole trader and you want to have a only a bookkeeping that you have in your in, in your phone I tested a software that's only an application in your phone that's called Rebit and I really like that one and I think that and you can up, upgrade that one also uh, to to and actually pay for it so I haven't tried out the paid one, but I say I, I was, uh, uh, I, I like that one. And I think that also can be a good one. But for all of this bookkeeping, please learn how to use them. And when you talk to their support system, they are not accounting people. They are only there to support the software. So remember that one. They will not answer how you should do things according to the laws. They only tell you how to use their software. So beside talking to their support, you also need to learn how to do the bookkeeping. That is really important because if it gets messy, it's harder <laughs> to get things in the correct way if you keep doing the messy things um, and if you're doing in a software and use templates the templates will not tell you that you're doing wrong because they are programmed to do this and they only do what they are programmed to do and perhaps they it is the wrong template you are using for the thing that you have bought or sold in your company so it's really important that you just make a checklist what is important for you to know regarding your company so you book that and use the correct templates in your software. I hope uh, this was uh, interesting and that you learned something and that you perhaps uh, now have a little bit more understanding on what kind of softwares there are on the market and my recommendations, this is what I think and how I work. Uh, of course there are other ways to look at it and uh, so my suggestion is try it out and see which one you prefer. And uh, good luck with your company and you're always welcome to contact me or book a meeting where we can just 
go through what kind of information you need to know about when you run your company so you get it right in your bookkeeping. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.